Copilot is the newest product on the block for Formstack. At this time, only a limited number of customers have access to this tool. If you don't have access, don't worry, we have a form that you can use. After we close business, the first interactions we have with our new customers are some of the most important. Your digital front door can start with a workflow powered by Copilot. With Copilot, you're able to build powerful workflows with data collection, document generation, and e-signature. And we can use all of those pieces for client intake and building a great first experience for our customers. To get things started on our client intake process, I'll show you my final flow in Copilot. First up, we have my form step. Within Copilot, you have to start all workflows with a form step. Having the ability to collect, store, and act on data is a powerful element of Formstack. After our first step, you can see I have the need for a customized document for our customers to review. Here, I'm able to drag and drop the fields from my form and map them to the fields within my document that I want that data presented. In this document, I'm routing this piece of information as well to both myself and my customer, something I'll actually set up in the individual element and creation of my document. Now that you've seen an overview of my workflow, let's dig into the pieces that actually power this whole thing. Within Formstack Forms, I'll give you a peek at my very simple form. In this form, I can use things like conditional logic, calculation fields, basic fields like names, address, and email to create a slick first touch experience for my clients. To ensure this form matches my organization's branding, I can update themes from what is already available or use other themes that I've created on my own. Now that you've seen my form and how I'm powering it, let's hop into documents. Here, I'm using the new drag and drop builder where I'm able to drag some of the merged fields I've already created right into my document. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Quite simply, if I want to create a new merge field, I just click insert field, type out the name and insert it. This document, like I said previously, is intended to be shared with both myself and my client. So I want to ensure I have a copy that is sent to me, something that I will edit here within Formstack documents. I want to make sure this is routed to the right person. In the context of Copilot, it's important to note that I am not creating a signature step. I don't want a signature on this document, but you as a business leader and process owner may want that. That is totally something you can set up within Copilot. All you have to do is add a signature tag within documents. So now that I've shown you my form and my document, I want to show you my workflow. So I'll start from a brand new workflow where I'm going to name it client intake. If you didn't notice, I saved this within my personal folder. First, I'll drag a form step. I'll click into that form step, find the client intake form select it. Then I'll add a document step where I want that data to go from my form. I'll search for that client and take document that I created and showed you how to, I made. I'll click in. Once I select my document, I'll be able to see the data on the left side from, that I can add to my document merge fields on the right side. On the left side, I'm pulling over that form data simply either drag and drop or I can search all the fields that I have if I'm unable to recognize what a specific field is and select it from this drop down. I personally use both of these options when I'm building out my workflow and mapping fields. And final, I'll make sure I get my final field that I want customized in my document selected and click done. Quite literally just created a powerful workflow in less than 30 seconds. What an awesome feat. So now I'll show you what building the form looks like for my client just so I can test it out. You can see here the form that my customers would complete. I'm putting test data and then I'll simply click submit form and boom, that document's delivered to me. 